with a very impressive victory over Keith one-time Thurman. Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao has made it extremely clear that he is still one of the best welterweights in the division right now. But it begs the question on what's going to be his next big opponent. Okay, there's an interview that I found on worldboxingnews.net. I'll leave a link down in the description that says that Manny Pacquiao leaves a small hint on who could be his next big potential opponent. Okay, now before we jump into this, I want to welcome back all the gym boxing subscribers, the family. Really appreciate everybody for coming through. If you're new to the channel, I invite you to subscribe, hit the bell icon, and also the thumbs up button. And I really appreciate that. Now, we all saw what happened to Keith one time Thurman when he stepped in the ring with Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao, okay? Manny Pacquiao came out and he looked extremely impressive. He put hands and feet on Keith Thurman who didn't really turn up until the second half of the fight. And there is an interview out that Manny Pacquiao did say that he did take his foot off the gas in the second round. A lot of people says that that was his 40 year old uh, <laughs> age kicking in is why he slowed down, but he definitely did move on to win that fight now everyone wants to know what's going to be next for Manny Pacquiao at 147 pounds and there's a couple of potential opponents guys like a possible Terrence Crawford right guys like the winner out of Errol Spence versus Sean Porter or even a possible Floyd Mayweather rematch okay now let's look into what Manny Pacquiao said uh, Manny Pacquiao on how long he plans on fighting who he plans on fighting next Manny Pacquiao says this in quote I think I will fight next year I will go back to the Philippines and work then I will make my decision he says I hope to be at Spence Porter fight on September 28th okay these are the words of Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao and we know that Manny Pacquiao also showed up to Errol Spence versus Mikey Garcia Okay, then he went on to fight Keith Thurman and a lot of people was trying to figure out if you went to the Errol Spence and, met and uh, Mikey Garcia fight, why didn't you fight the winner of that fight next? Okay, but if you ask me, the fact that he's trying to potentially go to Spence versus Porter tells me one of a few things and that is the fact that Manny Pacquiao is scouting Errol Spence Jr. Okay, he's taking his time, he's going to his fights, he's checking them out. I personally believe the winner of Errol Spence versus Sean Porter will definitely be fighting Manny Pacquiao sometime next year, maybe the beginning of 2020. Okay, now that's just my thoughts. Um, now, who do I think wins versus Errol Spence and Sean Porter? Okay, in order for Manny Pacquiao to even begin to, to get a uh, the, uh, the the winner out of these two opponents. We got to first uh, say who we believe is going to win. In my personal opinion, I do believe Errol Spence Jr. at this point in time, right? We still got maybe two months before the fight. But this point in time, I believe Errol Spence has all the necessary tools, the keys to win this fight. He has Sean Porter, I think, maybe a year youth advantage. He's taller. He has almost every advantage you can think of. So I personally give Errol Spence... The, the edge versus Sean Porter, okay? Both of these guys are my two favorite fighters. I really enjoy both of the way they fight. Most people hate Sean Porter. Most uh, people that follow this channel, they uh, will tell you in a heartbeat that Errol Spence is gonna run him over. And I understand that from the most part, but I personally believe it's gonna be a hell of a fight. I think it's gonna be a good fight uh, with Errol Spence edging it out. Now, if Sean Porter comes out victorious in this fight I personally would not be that surprised because I do believe both of these guys are top tier welterweights I believe uh, all the five six welterweights uh, in the division is kind of a toss-up in my personal opinion but we know Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford they're looked at as the two top welterweights and everybody want to see that fight but how does Manny Pacquiao fare against the winner of Sean Porter Errol Spence okay Manny Pacquiao obviously will be 41 years old at the end of this year. Um, and Errol Spence Jr. is going to have almost every advantage in that fight versus Manny Pacquiao um, with that, with that uh, exception of speed. Okay, because I think Manny Pacquiao still is probably one of the fastest welterweights at the division. Okay, um, I will probably, 
maybe lean a little bit towards Errol Spence in that fight, but I can't be too sure because I haven't seen any, I haven't seen Errol Spence face anybody yet of the likes of Manny Pacquiao, or even, or even a Sean Porter for that for that uh, for that matter. So. You know, it's going to be interesting to see in the upcoming months and then also in the upcoming few years to see how everything plays out at the welterweight division. Um, so I'm just ready to see. But it seems to me that Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao has been going to Errol Spence's last fight and it looks like he's trying to go to this fight. So it seems that that could be the next potential big fight for Manny Pacquiao, okay? Manny Pacquiao has already fought in Dallas at, at uh, AT&T Stadium, if I'm not mistaken, when he fought Josh Clotty. Um, and Errol Spence just recently fought in Dallas versus Mikey Garcia, in which Manny Pacquiao was in attendance. So these are all things I like to look at when, you know, when I see, you know, what could be the next possible big fight. I can possibly see, you know, Errol Spence Jr., Facing Manny Pacquiao next year. I can see that happening. Okay. And we know Errol Spence Jr. is a big up and coming star. He's gaining a lot of fan a lot of fan base. He's um look like he's gonna be the next big thing in boxing. And if they give Errol Spence Jr. that fight versus Manny Pacquiao and he becomes victorious in that fight, that could be somewhat of a, a passing of the torch type of situation. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I can see that happening, you know, especially because Manny Pacquiao may may only have a few fights left in his career uh, before he retires for good. So why not let a young, hungry liar like Errol Spence Jr. or the winner of him and Sean Porter get an opportunity to face Manny Pacquiao? We just saw Keith one time Thurman have an opportunity at Manny Pacquiao, but he came up extremely short. So um, so with that being said, I personally believe Manny Pacquiao's next big fight will be Errol Spence versus Showtime Sean Porter. Y'all leave y'all thoughts down in the comment section. Let me know exactly who you believe Manny Pacquiao fights next. Let me know who you want to see fight next in general. You know, let me know which world to wait you want to see fight Errol Spence. Let me know, um, you know, just drop all that down in the comment section, man. And I'll be back with some more videos. I know <clears throat> that it's been a while. You know, I've been kind of on and off on the channel, but that's because I've been, you know, taking care of a lot of business. I'm trying to get a lot of things going. I'm actually trying to um, get everything situated for me to go out to the Errol Spence versus Porter fight. So hopefully I'll be able to do that. If y'all not yet following me on Instagram, if you have an Instagram account, go to uh, your Instagram right now. Go to at Jim Boxing uh, and follow me on Instagram because if I start, you know, the more I get out to these fights, the more uh, high quality stuff I'm gonna be posting on Instagram to go along with YouTube. So make sure y'all go follow me over there, man, because I, I can post a lot more stuff on there without having to worry about uh, copyright issues and all of that stuff like that. So this your boy, get a mic. This is Jim Boxing. Give this video a thumbs up. And uh, that's pretty much all I got for this video. I'll see you guys next time, and I'm out. Peace.